Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance and we're going to tie a Torrance's Slipknot. This is a trailer hook style fly um, with some new materials that we're uh, pretty excited about. Uh, Senyo has come out with some uh, new shanks and wire. No more mono or fire line to fight with. And uh, let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with white thread, UTC 140. Just going to cover the shank here. We've got a blue shank, 25 millimeter. Get everything lined up here just the way I want it. Some wire cut off. This is blue Senyo um, intruder wire. What I like to do, and a lot of guys are just tying the loops, but I can't seem to get my loops the right length consistently. So I put the hook in there so I know and I just push it through and then snug it up. Everybody's done that before. But here's the deal. See how that would set like that normally with mono? What you do with this wire is you just take it and push it straight. Perfectly straight. And if you even want to exaggerate the gap a little bit, you can take it a little further and get it to be up like that. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is just take this material or this wire and lay it on the shank and roughly get it where I want it. Put a couple wraps, pull it a little bit, and then just check and see if I can change this hook out. Because sometimes you'll bend a hook or you'll jab the point or something. So yeah, I've got space there. I can probably tighten this up a little. So at this point, I'm just going to pull that off of there. Wire nippers and cut this to the length I want it. You don't want to use your nice scissors for that? Uh, no. Get a good set of wire cutters. And then I'm going to lay a little bit of um, zappa gap. You know, I like this brushable stuff. And I'm just going to put a thin coat of that in there too. That's just insurance for me. But I think you could take your thread and I pulled, I put on in, put this material or this wire on tied it in without any zappa gap and yanked on it and the coating on this really grabs the thread so it's not going anywhere so now I've got that all secured I start by making a loop body's fairly simple just some hairline STS trilobal dub in purple I'm gonna need a little wax to get this to stick in here trusty loop tool. Dubbing whirler. Yeah, that's what it's called. Got me there for a second. Tie that off, get a couple wraps to secure it. So next, we're going to put a new material in called uh, Senyo Wackle, Wacko Hackle. And it comes in a rope material, kind of like some of the braids that we use, but it's a stiffer material. And it comes apart like yay. And I'm going to kind of figure out the length I want. Pinch there, double, cut it. This material a little goes a long way, so that doesn't look like much. It's going to be quite a bit in the fly. Again, another loop. This has a little more substance to it, but I still want to use a little bit of wax. Put this in the loop. The wax will kind of hold it in place. Kind of line it up, spread it out. Okay. Okay, so now I've got marabou. I'm going to tie that in. Tip first. 
Again, a little bit of saliva on your fingers to get this material back. Brush here that Hairline has. I can't really tell you what the name of it is. Ultimate dubbing brush. Yeah. And this is, um, I like to just kind of get everything a little brushed out and untangled. There we go. I'm just going to wet that to pull it back. Now you can see how that. Senio material is really popping in that black material in the black marabou. So now <clears throat> we're going to use some Humor Fin Raccoon. This is their zonker strip and I just cut it off the hide and use it for wing. And You don't have to go crazy with this. A little goes a long way. And this fly looks to just be an excellent swimmer. I mean you oh, the, the it, Senios it, and the... It waggles. Yeah. Yeah. Trim that. You say, why am I using white thread? Well, I'm going to put red thread over this and really bulk up that head. Now, I'm going to do this a lot in the future. I want you to look at the UV light, what it does to that um, wing. You can see it just lights it up. Very, very bright. And we'll do that again after we get the head on this fly. Now we're going to take and put some purple guinea. And tie a collar of this. that there now we're going to build this head up whip finish tool here we go okay now I'm going to switch to UTC fluorescent fire orange in a 140 I'm going to start at the base here start working my way up You can see where I'm going with this. I want to get this all over there. Cover all that white. So I want that reflective property of the white under the red. Looks like I got it. Okay. Pull all that back. And then I'm going to take some clear goo hydro, my new favorite head cement. Quick coat of that on there. Just get the first coat. I usually do two coats. Pop it with the light. Look at that head, how that lights up. Tell me that a steel head isn't going to lock in on that. And that's the uh, Torrance's Purple Slipknot.